to me how one of her good friends used to date Paul Walker and that's how she was able to meet like all these other people and then she tells me how her friend was actually dating him when he passed Hello Transformation, welcome back to my channel, Modest Transformation by Celeste. In today's video, you guys, we're going to do a reaction to Holly Weird, where people have experienced some weird things in Cali and spooky stories. So, you guys, so before we get into it, don't forget to hit that smash button and like this video. Also, if you want to see more of this video, get this video up to 100 views as well. So, um, let's get into it. Story for like 10 years. When I tell you, I firsthandly saw celebrities that you wouldn't even think need to uh, finesse people into doing things. All right, let me just spell it. Back in 2011, when Instagram first started, I was what was called an IG model. Lived in Miami, grew very fast, ended up on like club flyers and all that. I went by a different name. The one that you see down here today is literally because I wanted to switch it so they could never like really associate with me again. So they hit me up and they're like, hey, we want your help for this project. They get me on FaceTime with said celebrity. A celebrity that every woman loves. Or mostly all. So I knew it was real. I knew it was, this person was right there. And later on, I, you know, I met them in person. There were different intentions. When mm -hmm. I get to LA, they tell me that not only was I doing said innocent job, but I was also in charge of basically convincing girls the same other professional models to not only get with said celeb who doesn't really need help to get girls like he is a handsome person but his team as well and i was just not with it got to escape that whole scenario the first visit but then the second visit it was the same thing all over again sounds all like what happened in the mix that i don't even want to bring up and i once again did not want to do xyz so they hid my luggages. It was me and two other girls. I called the celebrity and I was like, where is my stuff? The hotel, ended up finding it somewhere just hidden in the hotel. The whole gist of the story is I think everyone in Hollywood is just all trying to do you know what to whoever. And mm -hmm. I feel like they actually enjoy getting with people that don't want to be with them rather than just sticking to people that want to be with them. Like, it has to be, like, a pride thing, like, a controlling, like, I got you. Like, I don't know. They do try to blackmail you and make it seem as if this is, like, going to make or break your entire career, which I feel like to some people it may do so, but I was so early on, I'm like, this is nothing. I ended up deleting my entire Instagram. Wait, years without an Instagram. Fast forward to 2018, I started a new Instagram. Started in social media marketing. And here I am today. I already made over seven figures in digital products from social media. Just chilling at home. And my PJs. And that is how I named myself Shadi. We wouldn't trace me back. I think that was everything. Believe all the Hollywood stories. When I was in high school and mm -hmm. college, I would sometimes do extra work on TV and movie sets just to make some money because it was like a really easy job to do. And one time I was on this movie set and I'm talking to this girl and she's like telling me about all these famous people that she's met and hung out with, blah, blah, blah. And honestly, I thought she was lying because she just didn't give me the vibe of somebody who had like access to those kind of people. Like she kind of gave me like horse girl energy, but I'm just like sitting there listening to her. And then she mentions to me how one of her good friends used to date Paul Walker and that's how she was able to meet like all these other people and then she tells me how her friend was actually dating him when he passed away and i'm like oh my god like that's so crazy like i'm sorry to hear that that must have been really traumatic and she's like yeah you know like they've been dating since she was in high school and mm -hmm. in my head i'm thinking like I knew what yes, it is. They both were in high school, right? Like high 16. school sweethearts. Because I didn't know that man's dating history. So later on that day, I look it up on my phone because she told me the girl's name. And like, lo and behold, there's all these news articles about like how they were allegedly, I don't know if it's even alleged, like dating since she was 16. And this is when I was still really young and I hadn't fully woken up to the idea that men who prey on underage girls, it has nothing to do with their lack of ability to get women their own age. Because my logic at the time was that a lot of men who like to date underage girls are doing it 
because they're lame. And even if you think about it, like, even if you are a lame and, like, you're just, like, women repellent, there are other ways to deal with your loser behavior besides dating a teenager. But when you start coming across people who are good looking or who are rich or who are celebrities and they're still engaging in that kind of behavior, you realize it has nothing to do with their inability to get women their own age. Don't get me wrong. A lot of celebrities are lame, in fact, like, when you meet them in real life. But that's the thing. They're still, like, rich and famous. So you can still be a loser and people will still want to be with you and date you. And I think this is a big reason why a lot of celebrities get the benefit of the doubt when like allegations about them come out because people think like you could have any girl in the world. Like why would they want someone who's like illegal today? And that's the thing that can probably be like one of the reasons why they like it because it's like taboo or they just like the power dynamics or they're yeah. just they're just a freak, like a, just a freak, a weirdo, and a degenerate. And I think a lot of us are starting to like wake up to the fact that In a, narcissist. a lot of celebrities that we idolize, if they were not rich and famous, they would be the kind of guys who show up to high school parties like five years after they graduate. But once I started to really realize, like, it has nothing to do with somebody's status or how they look. Like, if they're a weirdo and a creep, like, that's just what it is. Sometimes oh, I think I miss Hollywood and then, you know, I walk around at night like this and I realize, no, this place is demonic. There's a, it's like a devil's soul lives in Hollywood. Like, you can feel it. Like, if you have any God in you, like, if you're close to, if you're spiritual in any way, anytime you're in Hollywood, you feel sick. Like, you feel uncomfortable. There's, like, literal devil here. Satan lives here. Like, I can feel it. Like, I feel so uncomfortable. I just want to go home so badly. The devil himself lives here. I don't care. This is where he packed his stuff when he left uh, uh, heaven. He didn't go to hell, honey. He came straight to Hollywood <laughs> and resides here. I cannot believe I spent 10 years on this block. I cannot believe my soul didn't go with me. Where do I even begin? Several people have sent me this TikTok and asked me to share some of my experiences, so here you guys go. I literally lived in Hollywood for two years and all this random shit happened to me. When people say Hollywood is haunted, they are not joking. The amount of paranormal experiences that I experienced living there. One time I was in an Uber, it was late as fuck at night, maybe like one or two in the morning. We are on a hill, okay? We are at a stop sign on a hill. There is nowhere for anybody to come from. And out of nowhere, someone starts banging on the window, help me, help me, help me! Literally screaming. Here's the fuck out of me and my Uber and we look at each other. See, he's better than me because he got out the car. I rolled my window down. Tell me why there was nobody there. In the building that I used to live in, several people have allegedly taken their own lives. The amount of times that my sheets would be pulled off of my body in my bed. Forks thrown at me, papers flying. And it ain't just the ghosts you gotta be scared of, it's the people alive too. This woman used to stand outside my window, okay? She put butter in a sock. I, I kid you not, this is not iCarly, this really happened. Anytime somebody went by on a bike, whack. Anytime somebody walked by, whack. Try to drive your car past her, she's gonna smash your window in. I have almost been pulled into several people's cars. While waiting for Ubers or, you know, walking around, I have been grabbed by random men and they would start literally, like, kissing me up my arm, on my cheek. There's a museum of death. I don't know why I went in there, but I did. And I'm pretty sure something followed me out. Let me not even get into the shit that I saw at this party. While looking for the bathroom, I opened up a door I shouldn't have. And I saw some shit that I shouldn't have. And I genuinely wish I could erase it from my memory. And the only way I got out of that situation was pretending that I was high and drunk and acted like I didn't see anything. The things that I was offered in exchange for money and fame. I'm sure some of y'all hear about, you know, the satanic shit that happens out in Hollywood allegedly. And some of y'all probably think, oh, it's probably just like a joke or like a rumor. People that you wouldn't even expect to be involved in that stuff are involved. The amount of times that I would witness literal children in adult spaces. Lifestyle that you see a lot of these IG models and Instagram famous people living. You think all these girls are funding these expensive lifestyles with brand deals? With a little Taco Bell sponsor? That ain't their only sponsor. I understand why all these movies try to make Hollywood look like this glamorous place. There's over 50,000 exactly. homeless people in Los Angeles. And that's probably not counting everybody. I got DM'd by somebody that I guess you can consider a celebrity. When I got there, I wasn't the only girl there. And the first thing that I was told by one of the other women, Oh, was it your first time too? The second those words left her mouth, I left. I don't even want to know what that meant. And I was told that it was just going to be us. So I don't know what I was about to get into, but I'm glad I left. 
I'm running out of time, but I have a ton more stories. Y'all want them? Ooh, wow. Listen to those ladies talk about Holly Weird. Oh my gosh. And you know, I had an experience with um, someone from Hollywood in she was a customer, came into my, my retail store. She gave me this vibe I did not like. She was very weird. She was like a little lighter than me. And she had these blue contacts. And that scared me because I know they was contacts. They wasn't real. And the way she was talking, it was just very weird. It was just, you know, I just like, please, God, please let her leave. You know, I just... You know, I'm glad I I couldn't be there. I know everybody's been talking about that state is weird. Those people do rituals. They just have a lot of negative things on them. And I know that's why, you know, we said, you know, celebrities and stuff and things in that nature. And we don't know what they condemned or consumed. Especially, you know, with this Diddy situation. That's very telling. Um, don't idolize celebrities. Don't put them in a high uh, pad, uh, pedestal. Don't do it. Um, I learned from from a long uh, younger age, and they just regular people to me. That's all I'm gonna say. They just like regular people. I don't see them nothing special. So you can't idolize no celebrities. So kids don't analyze. You know, it just don't do it. Because they're human too, just like us. Nobody's not perfect. But I want to say thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.